continuing with conduct of business item 10A, which is our last item, receive report and adopt resolution authorizing the issuance of pension obligation bonds to refinance the outstanding side fund obligation of the city to the California Public Employees Retirement Fund and authorizing the institution of judicial validation proceedings. Thank uh. you. <laughs> a bit of a mouthful there. Uh, Honorable Mayor, members of the City Council, I I touched on this topic back at the second uh, budget study session, so I'm just going to review some of what um, I discussed at that time. So as you'll recall, back in 2003, CalPERS combined retirement plans for those agencies that had fewer than 100 employees in a unit um, into groups, into risk pools in an attempt to reduce the volatility of uh, employer contribution rates. Our safety pool, our police and fire, was one of those uh, groups that was merged into a risk pool. At the time that, that, uh, it, that the police and fire, the safety unit, was merged into the risk pool, a what was called an unfunded liability was assessed at that point in time, which essentially um, is amortized over a 25-year period to the city for repayment. So at that point in time that the city joined that risk pool, there was that outstanding amount that was owed, and that is going to be amortized, that has been amortized over 25 years. As of our most recent PERS uh, actuary evaluation report in October 2011, that outstanding side fund stands at just over 13.1 million. That accounts for 11.8% of our total at the employer's contribution rate, basically one third. The employer contribution rate for the safety employees is just over 36.6% currently. And of that 36.6%, 11.8 of that consists of the repayment of the side fund. Uh, the rate of interest that the city is charged on this side fund is 7.75%. We do know that that rate will be lowered uh, come July 2013 to 7.5%. However, staff believes that even at this reduced rate of return, uh, that there are significant potential significant savings from refunding the side fund through the issuance of bonds or another form of debt at a much lower interest rate. In order to issue pension, pension obligation bonds, the city must first attain what is called a judgment validating that the CalPERS side fund um, and the debt, the issuance of the pension obligation bonds um, are in fact a debt obligation created by law. Um, we're not going out and issuing new debt, that this is a debt that already exists and that we are essentially just refinancing, refunding that existing debt. So the action that is being presented before you tonight authorizes the beginning of the judicial validation proceedings, and it signifies the city's intent to pursue the issuance of pension obligation bonds. It does not authorize the actual issuance of bonds. Uh, that's not something we're prepared to do at this time. It essentially just gets the clock running on uh, obtaining this validation as that process alone is anticipated to take somewhere in the neighborhood of 90 to 120 days. Um, and during this time, while that validation um, process is occurring, the city can work with its outside financial advisor to um, put together a proposed financing plan that will be brought back to the city council for further review. If the city does move forward with the issuance of pension obligation bonds at a later date, all costs associated with the issuance of that transaction would be incorporated into the financing. However, if the city chooses, was to choose not to pursue uh, the issuance of bonds, the, the judicial validation process, there is a cost of $7,500 involved with this process that we would have to pay should we choose not to move forward with the issuance of the bonds. So that concludes my presentation. I would also like to um, point out that Craig Betancourt, our financial advisor from Prager Seeley and Company, as well as David Fama of Jones Hall, who um, would serve as bond counsel, are both here tonight to answer any specific questions that you might have about this process. All right. Any questions of staff or consultants? No. Michael? No. Rico? <laughs> no. This is a resolution. Would someone like to adopt that resolution? Introduce the resolution for adoption? Uh, I guess I'm on a roll. I'll introduce the resolution for adoption. Councilmember O'Connell? Aye. Councilmember Medina? Aye. Councilmember Salazar? Aye. Mayor Ruane? Aye. 